Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. Doing Chame Friday for today's second video. So it's also on Friday, having a look at the weather for the month ahead. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just say about the first video today was our 6M upload. Got a 10 to 14 day with all of the regular features coming up for you after this video. And if that wasn't enough, I'm going to start the countdown to the uh, long Jubilee weekend tonight. It's within the GFS time frame, so uh, why not begin the countdown uh, for the uh, long Bank Holiday weekend? Uh, and we'll do that this evening for you, I think. Probably around 7-ish, I would have thought. So if you enjoy the videos at the moment, please do like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. And drop a comment. Let's know what you can have this in all of our videos. Thank you. So much. Right, let's start off then with the uh, JMA 500 millibar high tonometers from the Arctic and North Pole view down. So this is the uh, North Pole of the Arctic. So it's just here. This is the wider Arctic, of course. And then we've got mid latitudes around here. So blue is extrapolating to below. Average heights is low pressure. Yellow, orange and red extrapolate to above. Average heights, which is high pressure. These are breaking down to weekly periods, and the first week period will take us from the 20th to 27th of May. The coming week will have below average heights to the north, plenty of low pressure up north, but above average heights over and to the south of the country, high pressure covering much of uh, continental Europe, especially the west of the southwest. Um, so it means that most of the south weather will be in the north, the driest and warmest weather will of course be down in the south, close to that area of high pressure. Week 2 also looks anti-cyclonic, this is the 27th of uh, May to the 2nd of June, with above average heights, high pressure building through the west of Europe, sending the uh, jet stream and the areas of low pressure further northwards as well. So it looks pretty anti-cyclonic there, it's come to months then, at the beginning of June, should be lots of dry, and you would have thought relatively warm weather on offer with that. Got a significant change over weeks 3 and 4, which takes us from the 2nd to the 16th of June. The high pressure then uh, pulling out into the Atlantic Ocean, and a trough of low pressure over Scandinavia backing west into the west of Europe, and that will send a jet stream and the wind flow on a northwest southeast trajectory in alignment, and it will turn increasingly cool and unsettled, therefore, probably showery, especially so for more northern and northeastern areas. This is the Tropical mid latitude view from the JMA. So the Arctic and the North Pole is off the chart up here. You, you can't see that view. It's it's off the chart. But have a look at that view down so we know what's going on. The UK and Ireland in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. So a reminder of the week one 500 millibar high zombie going from the 20th to 27th of uh, May. So uh, we've got high pressure down to south. And we've got low pressure away to the north and west, the jet stream is going through the northern half of the country. Potential anomaly is above average in the weekend. We're in those uh, yellow colours there. So around 1 to 2 degrees uh, above normal with our temperature anomaly. And a bit of a north-south split for rainfall as well. So uh, wetter than average for Scotland, but average or drier than average uh, for Ireland, England and Wales. Week 2 sees that area of high pressure building northwards across the west of Europe, dominating the weather. Uh, above average temperatures, again, in those yellow curves, 1 to 2 degrees above average, so a warm end to this very warm May. And uh, beginning of June, looking quite warm too. Precipitation-wise, it's dry and average, as you expect, under that area of high pressure, a dry and warm start to mid tropical summer 2022, perhaps. And then changes to week 3 and 4, which get us from the 2nd to the 16th of June as the high pressure pulls out into the Atlantic, a chop of low pressure belts to our north and uh, northeast. So, you know, this is at Scandinavia, will be up here. You can see that the trough would be uh, doing something uh, a little bit like that. Temperature anomalies are cooling, not particularly cold, but certainly lowering uh, a little bit. We're losing those yellow colours. We're about average to slightly above average there. Uh, it's not overly unsettled, but maybe hints it being a little bit more showery. If we look to our east, it does look a little bit on the unsettled side there. Um, so it's a two-weekly period. It, it's probably transitional for week three, and then by week four, we might be under the cautionary back trough a little bit. But uh, it remains to be seen. It's all a long way off, of course. So the rest of May, anyway, in terms of the beginning of June, looking basically dry and quite warm. Uh, Service V2 uh, next, so these are 500 millibar high times again, breaking down to week pairs. The first week pair going from the 20th to 26th of May, 
very similar to the JMA with the below average heights to the north and the above average heights to the south and the jet stream wind flow direction coming through a little bit like that. Uh, week 2 will be the 27th of May to the 2nd of June with the above average heights and building north. So again, the two models, the JMA and CFS, are in agreement um, today for both week 1 and also uh, week 2 developments. Week 3 is the 3rd to the 9th of June with the above average heights and the high pressure beginning to slip southwards, um, which may start to allow something a little bit more unsettled to come in from off the Atlantic with projection, although there's no particular, particular evident area of low pressure. And then very similar to JMA again for week 4 actually, which is 10th to 16th of June, as the above average heights pull out into the Atlantic, you would expect this area here to have a trough of low, trough of low pressure, which would for us send the wind flow and uh, jet stream traje trajectory on the northwest to southeast of Lyman. So very good agreement between these two models actually today. You don't always get this, uh, you know, not very often actually, you get the two models agreeing all the way out to uh, week four, but they are in agreement with the development today, um, interestingly. So temperature anomalies for week one, CFS VG from the 20th, 20th of May are going to be above average, especially so for southern areas where it will be very warm again. Week two also looking warm. This remember high pressure builds cross country course 27th of May, 2nd of June. That's another warm week coming up. Week three is the uh, 3rd to the 9th of May. Still a little bit above average, but certainly the temperature, temperature anomaly, uh, the warm temperature temperature anomaly is lowering there. And then week four, which is the 10th to the 16th of June, again, that warm temperature anomaly, just easing off, easing away southwards a little bit. It's not cold, but it's certainly cooling a little bit there as we head up towards the middle part of June, cooling down closer to average. And then precipitation-wise, um, from the 20th to 20th of May, Close to average or a bit on the dry side, I think, generally in the weekend. Um, week two is interestingly interesting. This is a high pressure building north. You expect this to be quite a dry week, but actually only shows average precipitation. And just to our northwest, it's a little bit wetter than average as well, interestingly. Uh, week three, uh, no particular signal read by now, 3rd to 9th of June. We're losing the signal. And week four, again, 10th to 16th of June. That one doesn't show much of a signal either. So, um, we've got good agreement between the two models today. As I say, it looks like the rest of May is going to be quite warm, with plenty of high pressure still around. It won't be continuously dry, but I think overall it is a little bit drier on average and quite warm for the rest of May, probably lasting into the early part of June as well, uh, which could be good news of the long weekend. Um, beyond that, further on into June, the hints are there that high pressure is going to pull out into the Atlantic, become more of a mid-Atlantic ridge type thing. And um, with a trough of low pressure, maybe somewhere towards Scandinavia, that might send us into a cooler and rather more showering um, period as we go further on into uh, in, into June, perhaps. But of course, that's a long way off. It's week three, and particularly week four. So uh, we're just going to wait and see, I think, whether that verifies uh, or not. Certainly, in the next couple of weeks, there'll be plenty more dry and warm weather on offer, particularly so more southern areas. Right, so that's JMA for Friday this week. Remember, it's just a snapshot of what models are showing. They could look very different when we do this again uh, next week. Any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with big health warnings and lots of salt attached to it. We'll be back shortly with the 10th 14 day. Uh, that will include all of rank features, so you come back for that one then. Uh, but for JMA for Friday this week, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.